If you have made something beautiful in Bifrost and now you want to give it a shape, you can of course try to do this procedurally or you can use the new manipulator field to shape your Bifrost effects. The manipulator field provides position, extent, a field strength and a fall off that are all set with an object in Maya. The result is a field that you can use in your graph to give your effects a shape. A manipulator field is a bifrost field whose field strength is controlled by the position and size of Maya objects, the manipulators. The manipulators can have different shapes and they have special attributes that can be used to influence the field from within Maya. The connection between the compound in Bifrost and the manipulators in Maya is created on both sides by a mail script. So instead of creating the compound directly in Bifrost, you let the mail script assemble the setup. Now you can use the field normally in the Bifrost graph and set its properties interactively from within Maya. Additional manipulators for an existing field are also created by a mail script and connected to the compound. If manipulators are deleted, a clean function is available to clean the released connections. Here is a practical example. I have deformed this polygonal surface with a curl noise function. This is a very simple exercise that everyone should have done at least once. If I now want to localize the deformations, then I can use the manipulator field. I let the mail script assemble the compound and the manipulator for me. In the graph, I use the sample field node to query the strength of the field for the points of the geometry. With the resulting values, I multiply the curl noise before adding it to the points of the geometry. Once this is done, the geometry is only deformed where the manipulator is. With the values magnitude and attenuation of the manipulator, I can control the strength and fall off of the effect. I make a second manipulator for this compound, change its shape and its values, all very simple and interactive. If a manipulator field compound has several manipulators, then the field strengths of the manipulators are added together. Now I delete the second manipulator, but the deformations remain in its place. Here I have to clean up the connections with the clean function. Let's take another look at the graph. The sample field node, which here queries the field strength for the points of the geometry, is actually already built into the manipulator field compound. The input sample points takes the points and at the output point scalar I get the results. This makes it a bit easier when the results are needed directly in the root level of the graph. Now I create a second manipulator field and connect it in the same way as the first one. For clarity I change the shape of the second manipulator. The deformations are now only visible where the manipulators overlap. The field strengths of the manipulators are no longer added, they are now multiplied. Finally, two quick examples of using the manipulator field in instancing. I use this simple graph to cover this mountain range with simple trees. The points for the instances are created by this scatter points node. If I feed the scalar field of the manipulator fields into the density weights input of the scatter points node, I can control the generation of points with the field strength of the manipulator fields. I change the shape of the manipulator to box, scale the box, and now I can easily and interactively set the tree line. With additional manipulators I can add trees, 
or remove them. In the second example, I want to control the distribution of different instance objects with the manipulator field. Four instance objects are evenly distributed on a surface. Now I create a manipulator field and create a point ID for all points. I plug this point ID in the node create instances in the input instance ID override. The first manipulator creates the ID 0 for all points that lie within its influence. Therefore, only instances of the first type are displayed here. The second manipulator automatically has the ID 1. This is where the instances of type 2 are generated. The third and the fourth manipulators have corresponding additional IDs. It is important to know that no points are created here by the manipulators, but that an ID is assigned to the existing points. Those points that are not enclosed by any manipulator get the ID minus one, and thus no instance objects are displayed here. If you want to mix the instance objects, you must know that only the manipulator with the strongest field strength determines the ID of a point. To mix the IDs of two manipulators, I can set the value fractal noise to a positive or negative value. With the attribute erode ID, I can reset IDs to the background value, which is minus one, if no other manipulator is present. Okay, I hope you enjoy using the manipulator field. The package contains detailed instructions on how to install the individual parts. Please let me know if something doesn't work or if you have any questions or suggestions.